Generals, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another special occasion. And I think I'm sort of saturating and really killing the value of these special occasions. I think you are, because you just say it every time. <laughs> you're, a, you're, 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 you're a big occasion whore But this as well. is a special occasion. Well, and do you know why, Blake? Why? Because this is the most viewed and the most wub replay in all of Zero Hour it is indeed. for GameReplays.org. This is... Dackel as the GLA Stealth. And Excal as the GLA Stealth. There's the purple down the bottom there. And you know what? Dackel is Dackel and Excal is Excal. Yeah, it's fantastic. They're actually like playing as their proper names, not smurfing, which isn't, well, then it's nice. It makes it easier for us. So basically, this is a Hall of Fame game, of course. And uh, supposedly, I guess you could say that this is the best replay of all time. I suppose. Hey, we're going to find yeah, out. We I will mean, indeed. Yeah, I mean, we'll castle. We cast a fair few games, you'd think. So. Uh, Terrace moving out now. Oh, oh, is he gonna run over the worker? Please, yes, please. Oh god. Oh, maybe not. No, oh, he, he didn't. missed it. He could have force fight if he wanted to. So Excal uh, didn't quite micro that the way he should have, but we do see some more Terrace on the way. Dak will probably gonna go for a nice tech terror, but these demo cars from Excal they may claim some victims. I guess going for the uh, the workers, sorry, on the supply lines would be the best idea. Are there a force fire or a, or a or a run over denied. It's nice to have vehicles out that fast. Ah, the, the turning circle. The turning circle, two, two OP. That we got it though in the end. Yeah. yeah, fortunately that demo car was not a Chinese dozer. Otherwise, he would have had a hard time actually getting that one. But we do see a technical now from Dackel. Should be able to deny that one. He may just force fire on the supply just for the sake of it. RPD is actually. We'll, we'll focus it off for now. Yeah, there we go. Does end up getting destroyed. Both players going for a bit of tunnel control as well. Dackel, of course, finishing that one in the middle. Going for the one on the side as well. That might actually come out and deny the worker of Excal. Yeah, it looks like it will here. Excal's worker is not going to be having the best time there. As the tunnel will gun him down, but these technical from Dackel may kill the RPD. Gets one of them and the worker. So for now, i got to say, Dackel's looking pretty strong. He has nice sort of tunnel... Uh, placement tech terror will take out that forward central tunnel. That's going to be very important there. I love to see that popping out a couple of terrorists to actually deal with the tunnel just because they do go down to two terrorists. I mean, that's something you can pull out. You can drop some RPGs to finish off the network, and now you know your technical has free reign to go for the worker lines. Yeah, now with that one gone, it means a couple of things. Not only does it mean that Dackel can now move into the base of S Carl very easily, but three quads and a fair bit of RPGs is going to be a nice work. Nice army from Excal, but going to lose a couple of those workers, so couldn't quite defend it in time. So not only has Excal lost the middle of his base, also that barracks isn't going to do much anymore. He's going to need to build like a second barracks to start getting some more terrorists if he wants to go for a tech terror. Yeah, to get something out. Nice quad uh, RPG combo as well coming out from Excal. A little bit out of position. Um, they're going to be scouting out that the first tunnel there from Dackel. RPG's moving in now, but there's going to be an engagement on the left as well. Yeah, that quad pop here from Dackel. It looks as though Excal is going to get his army destroyed here. Will kill most of the army of Excal, but yeah, the RPG's tunnel and the quads were just too much. Yeah, look, the quads from Excal actually ended up focusing the tunnel network and not the RPGs as soon as they popped. Uh, okay. um, yeah, which wasn't yeah, uh, which wasn't great. It means uh, Excal did lose the engagement, and you know Dackel has really really nice control as well as destroying that barracks in the middle. Yeah, but it looks as though another quad RPG pop here. But look how many RPGs there are from oh, Dackel. God. He's gonna have a fun time destroying those quads there of Excal, getting another barracks on the left hand side. He looks like he's gonna go for an all cap. Yeah, gonna be nice there, but that's like insta give quality when you have that many RPGs that. It one shot, a, a one shot a quad or a one shot a technical or something like that. Another technical as well coming in from Dackel. You know, fantastic um, commitment to this harassment. Those technicals are just awesome. They they deny the workers and that's a lot less income that's coming out from Excel puts them even further behind. Yeah, I really like that. It's just good play from Dackel, just consistently getting the technicals on squish duty and just squishing those workers as we do see another push on the right hand side. His turn to go for the push here. Can Excal defend it? Probably not if he's going for his own counterattack on the left-hand side. And that sucks. When your quads and RPGs are actually out of your tunnel, you can't pop them in and pop them out because, you know, Dackel's already in position around the tunnel network. He's got his RPGs there, got his quads there, but Excal going to be going for that split push as well. Going to be pushing up the left-hand flank for Dackel's base. Forces the cell. Now, Dackel may just back off his entire army back into the tunnel so he can defend his middle supply or his left. So... Got to say, Dackel is just looking incredibly strong in this game. He's just been trading so well and harassing so well. He has indeed, and I mean, he's also stealth the central supply there, so Excal doesn't know it's there yet until he until he force fires or runs into it. Yeah, actually, will force fire. Perhaps he saw it there before it actually got uh, built. Yeah, I was and missing it. Yeah, you need the RPGs to reveal yeah, it. 
And so that will be the sell order there from Dackel. Not a huge blow there, to say the least. And I think x really wants to make some aggression on this left-hand side happen. He really has to. Going for the all caps, nice, because x has done that himself. Yeah, he does actually have good control of that all, Derek, does x -Cal. And another technical as well, coming out from Dackel, but going to be forced off by the absolutely huge army from... From, oh uh, yeah, Dackel moving in, but x huge army forcing it off. Gets the worker back in the technical, which is nice. But we'll lose a technical. Oh, sad. You gotta be careful though, because when you go for that many quads, you can't overcommit to quads and then just like lose it all to two battle buses. If we saw like a really quick tech from Dackel, buggies are a battle bus could sort of rip through that, but for now, also x is safe. He has a fair bit of grace time until we just start to see some palace units come out yeah, from yeah. x -Cal. Definitely Dackel. giving, yeah, yeah, no palace out so far, which surprises me a little bit. I mean, he, I guess he has been committing to this huge army. But the quads will face off here. Pretty similar concave there, but the army from Dackel looks like it will be too much with the RPG support. x throwing away another huge army here as the tunnel and the RPG has proved to be too much defense. Yeah, I think it's going to be a little too much here. A few of those quads just getting taken out in the end and Dackel walking away with that engagement and that's not good for x -Cal. Even if he's trading one quad for a single quad, uh, he has a lot less income. He's not on two supplies anymore. He's only on that one along with the order. Oh, we may lose the supply. He has to cancel that one. Dackle actually, oh, this is uh, the Dackle oh, Supply. Dackle's okay, supply. just kidding. Yeah, yeah. Dackle Supply, definitely a nice move there. But, you know, keep in mind, those technicals with the double scrap, they're pretty damn scary. Oh, yeah, they are. With the, the rockets, they're just absolutely nuts. And, yeah, very, very deadly. More quads coming out as well now from Dackle. I don't think Dackle can hold this one. His army isn't in position. It still has this back tunnel, which is going to be so crucial. Where is his quads? He needs to defend the supply. Yeah, he's moving some up. I'm not sure how many he actually lost. The technical is now moving in with that scrap. Going to go, go for the, you know, RPGs. We get shut down very, very fast. Yeah, I think Dackle having not enough production to fuel the four supply all Derek that he has now. Really needed to get a second arm dealer because once he lost that army, he couldn't rebuild it in time. Yeah, I think that's why. He must have a lot of money uh, banked up at the moment. And, you, uh, you know, 1,500, I guess he has spent a lot of money building up those two middle supplies as well as meaning, you know, the workers to it. Five supplies now. Well, he did had about 3k float until yeah. he built that second arm deal, which is a very good choice. We'll sell off the supply and where is the palace? Just not there. It's just not up yet. I'm just a little bit surprised about that. A, a tech into battle buses or even buggies would be fantastic at this point. It would yeah. perhaps sorry, rip through that quad RPG army. It's sort of the thing with, with GLA mirrors is you kind of need palace tech to deal with palace tech. Yeah. It's like you can't really deal with a battle bus without a Jarman. Unless you have a lot of RPGs and catch it out of position, but then a Jarman and a battle bus can deal with RPGs. So you kind of need buggies or like Jarman to deal with battle buses. So like the tech race can be so crucial. Yeah, it definitely can. And look, more quads coming out from Dackel. He's going to have a, a bit of a better army. That barracks is right next to the tunnel network, so hopefully we'll be seeing some RPGs out as well. And finally, a palace now from Dackel. That's going to be absolutely fantastic. Yeah, that's going to be nice there, but X Dackel, no, x -Car rather, having a pretty nice army of, uh, look, four quads. Some of some have vetted, which makes a pretty big difference, and he's got a fair bit of RPGs. Looks like he will actually back off. He wants to defend his base. He probably knows that there is two tunnels going down in the base of, of x -Cal. and that's never a good thing to happen is to have your enemy building tunnels in your base but a demo trap actually may claim some victims here. Oh, the quads are driving right near. Let's see, one drives for it. Let's see if it's a manual or not. It looks like it is on... No. Automatic, uh, wow. Yeah, automatic detonate. I think uh, x, x -Cal must have lacked, lacked out there. The quads actually will go for an engagement here but the splashing was just too bad for x -Cal and his RPGs had a pretty good time there but now the RPGs of x -Cal have emerged and they will ward off and kill all of the quads, so x holding on to his supply this time around. Good hold off. A lot of tunnels out as well from x which means, you know, again, a lot of RPGs coming out there, two per tunnel. Uh, it's just a really, really nice way to get RPGs. You get the tunnel network and you get two free RPGs. It's brilliant. Yeah, pretty much. And now the palace has finished, so we may start to see some buggies or some battle buses mixed in. I would like to see Dackle get some more RPGs just to supplement the battle buses, because you want to have that ready to go. Another demo trap, though, may have a bit better explosion this time around. The last one was a little bit lackluster tunnel from s -Car. wants to build a supply tunnel, rather. Um, but look, there goes another demo trap. Only claim, or two quads wasn't too bad there. But uh, losing another supply, x getting spread very thin. He is indeed, and it's just the amount of supplies that are coming out, but a huge quad RPG army out. 
Yeah, I've managed to get obliterated there. There's so many RPGs. We really need to see some Balabas Jarman plays to really sort of wither down that army of RPGs from Excal. I think we will, but I mean, Dackel has fantastic map control. Excal is very much up the left hand flank, but Dackel's all over the map. That means he's got excellent, um, you know, popping power when he actually gets an army up of, you know, Battle Popping buses. power. Popping power. <laughs> GLA popping power. I, I love it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with that, Machine. Right. Uh, trademarks, but we do actually see two sneaky supplies will be mining, so Excal's economy isn't actually too bad. You want sneaky supplies, or you know, you can have it if you want. Oh, like. no. <laughs> that alliteration always adds to the effect here, but oh, we'll see Excal's old Derek be destroyed here. Out of position there, we'll lose old Derek, which is very crucial right now. Another good uh, popping power here from Excal. We'll probably deny the supply of, of Dackle. Very yeah, aggressive does. supply. He really likes going for those forward supplies. And a battle bus out Yay! now from Dackle. Hell yeah, battle bus as well as the Jarmans. Jarmans going in as, lo as well as the RPGs. Man, that is going to shred quad RPG army. The Jarman will just rip through them. But it's just so wonky because in this game, there's so many tunnels. Ford actually will drive into the RPGs. Dackle, what are you what? doing? Please. Oh, Dackle, that's not how you micro a battle bus. It is not indeed. But I mean, look, it's going to get destroyed as well. And all those RPGs in the Jarman died. Not even an evac out from, from uh, uh, Dackle. Dackle, no. What happened? He must have mis misclicked that. You've, you've got to see him misclick that. Bit of a blunder there, because now the supply from Excal is still mining, and that is his third supply. Excal on three supplies, Dackle on three supplies, going for his command center as well. So all of a sudden, Excal is no longer looking too weak in this but, game. Yeah, exactly. It has teched up, of course. So I'm not sure if we see a palace out yet from Excal. He's been spread very, very thin, of course. So, you know, just, just the arms dealer. I'm trying to get his supplies back up. Trying to oh! Up oh! oh! The demo trap! Nice work there, Excal. Killing the battle bus is going to be a fantastic move there. We'll lose the tunnel, but not even keeps the tunnel. Man, that demo trap. These demo, these uh, battle buses aren't quite living up to their expectations, They're are they? They're not paying out of all. I mean, we told them to go for it. Maybe <laughs> we made a mistake, Callum. Uh, I mean, Ogre Machine. I mean... Another nah. one coming out now, but I mean, the battle buses, they're going to pay off eventually, but they keep running into these advanced demo traps. But Excal having a nice counter attack here off the top left hand side. A battle bus from Dackle is on the field, but is it full of RPGs? I'm not sure. Just yet denying that worker there. There may be an anthrax bomb ready and waiting for it. There's a couple of RPGs, not really many though, and actually Dackle going for a lot of cells here. Yeah, there's so many tunnel networks up there from Excal, so he's going to be spamming out not only more RPGs for his army, he's also going to have a lot of ways to back off as well. So so, yeah, look, the base of Dackle, even with, you know, the Barricades upgrade being forced down very, very fast. Yeah, there's a still palace there. I don't know if it's actually garrison, and with not really a lot of production anymore... Oh, another demo trap oh! takes out the battle bus! <laughs> Fantastic play, x -Carl. These demo traps keeping him in the game by a large stretch there, as we do see the quads and RPGs are just muscling their way through pretty much everything. That's so cool. The battle buses just always get taken down to the shell and just like, well, oh, just another Jarman. one. Jarman sniping away now, but not being focused. God, that was a bit lucky there from Dackle. Had those quads been paying attention, they could have just sniped the Jarman straight away and Dackle is basically just losing his base. All he has is his garrisons in the middle. Dackle has, yeah, Excal's just been pushing back so, so hard from when it was just on the back foot. Now he's he's on the offensive. He's got his quad RPGs. They're moving forward. Going to be going for this oil day as well on this top right hand corner. Yeah, he probably will kill that pretty easily. The palace, oh, not, it looks not empty. Garrison, yeah. Unless it's just not auto firing, but then again, have it not. Re do. Yeah. I didn't know it was there. Nice play, Excal. He must have seen it previously. Or maybe at a radar van or something. I don't know, but. Look, losing the nice, palace anyway. is a huge blow and not garrisoning that full of five RPGs is something that we see players not do and it makes me sad. It does make me sad, honestly, because it's just like a, a free battle bus with a, with a lot of health. It's just, it just <laughs> rips through armies. I've always struggled to deal with palaces full of RPGs. It's just a massive pain trying to trying to muscle your way through if you don't have longer range stuff, which we don't see out of XL. It's just quite RPGs. Yep, so there is still a handful of battle buses just yet, but I'm sure x -Carl will be going for his palace quite soon. Another battle bus, but gotta be careful, there's a couple of demo traps here. Yeah, the battle demo traps are off to the side, just ready and waiting for that battle bus. There's so many tunnels though as well out uh, from both players, just all over the map. Uh, x -Carl pushing up the side, the right flank now, with his army. Yeah, battle bus has emerged from the tunnel and a couple of quads to meet them in kind. And these battle bosses that they really just can deal with this many quads That's if they're nice micro correctly and if they don't run through demo traps there. 
but it looks as though we will see a palace. Yeah, here we go. Fantastic. I was bluffing that. I was I was saying palace before he actually saw the palace. Yeah. Hoping he went for a palace. Yeah, and he did go for a palace. You know, and just see being right on the ball there. <laughs> So good job, Excal. I mean, it'd be nice to see a bit of a transition now. And I think, is that a Scud Storm or a Command Center going up on the side there? You can so, never yeah, tell, can you? Center. No, you can't. It's very, very similar. I think you can see the kind of, like, outlines in the in, in the dirt um, for, for a Scud Storm. But look, the Battle Bus is now moving in. We'll have to see if anything pops out of that tunnel. A lot of quads and RPGs will, but there's actually a Jarm in that Battle Bus. That will take down several of those RPGs. Has the Scrap giving him the extra health with the little uh, the Dozer thing, yeah. whatever it's called. Uh, whatever it's called, but that's Battering okay. Battering Ram, I guess. So. Well, because I know in, in CNC3, it's Dozer Blades for your Scorpion tanks. Oh, okay, yeah. But calling them Dozer Blades in Zero would be quite confusing, because it it's like, there's not Dozer, like, what are yeah. you talking about? So, it gives them more health, and that's always nice, because Battle Buses aren't exactly the strongest. They are against quads, but the demo traps! Oh, no, wow. Dackle, no! Oh, no! Oh. Stop running in the demo traps. Oh, and the other one might get the quads. Yep. No, close. It might go for the battle oh, bus. Oh, come please, on, Dackle. Please, Dackle, don't, don't, <laughs> don't go that way. That way is not a good way. Be careful, buddy. I'm surprised we haven't seen any radar vans being mixed in from Dackle because these demo traps are really giving Dackle such a hard time. Jump will get taken out yeah. by the stealth tunnels. You know, that's stealth, so you know you can't really tell they're there until they're gutting down your jump. Yeah, and you're like, oh crap. I think that's the first time we've seen a battle bus actually run over workers, like do the run, do the technical run, where they just do kill the entire worker line. It's 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 nice. And another pop as well coming out from the top from Dackle. Trying to deny the worker. Aww. Probably will get there just in time. No demo trap for you. Scumbag worker trying to take out <laughs> the affiliate workers. Yeah. If I can't mine, no one can, but battle Bus will go for an engagement here. Jarman will snipe down the husk of the battle bus. Jarman so fast in 1.4. Oh, and a GPS scrambler as well. Jarman's really fast at sniping down infantry. He's just pretty crazy. But look at that demo trap. Yeah, it oh. looks like it will be not in time. Well, the Jarman, the attack speed hasn't changed in 1.6 or anything. What what the attack speed was was the Vet 2. Yeah, giving yeah, it a yeah, faster yeah, yeah, attack yeah. speed. Yeah. yeah, they didn't really touch Jarman at all in 1.6. It's pretty much the exact same as 1.4. But we do see, I think, as you were saying earlier, there's a lot of tunnels from Dackle, but at the same time, there's a lot of tunnels from Excal. A yeah, lot of tunnels. All over the place. And they're just hard to muscle your way through, and you just don't know what's going to be popping out. Uh, look, oh, Rebel. the Rebel! The Rebel, I get it! Please, Rebel! Please! Ah, uh, no, the Jarman will deny it by the looks of it. He actually, no, we'll go for the battle bus there, so the Rebel will take down the supply. Demo Trap, I think killing both of those battle buses there, so once again, a Rebel living up to his, uh, well actually, no, surpassing his expectations, rather. Yeah. The expectations of Rebels for doing nothing at all. The quads from Excal are quite numerous here. Battle bus having to go back to the tunnel to get his health back up, and Excal balling strong with his production, but doesn't have any palace tech. He has the palace finished, but no buggies or well, only... I only had that one battle, battle bus, bus yeah. yeah, so far. So yeah, no buggies out as yet. So which is a, look, it surprised me a little bit that we're not seeing anything. I guess the thing is with buggies is you got to be really careful against stealth players because you just don't tunnels, know where yeah. the tunnels are. So you can just lose them all to, like, not even a tunnel pop. Just driving past the tunnel will kill a, a buggy pretty fast. Yeah, so, we, so we got black markets out now, which means, you know, we got some angry mobs. Um, coming out, which which is going to be nice. I mean, it's, it's, it's a good unit for Dakla. They can muscle their way through tunnels with the AK-47 upgrade. I mean, it just depends on like how many you have as to how many tunnels there are. So Yeah, yeah we even saw a couple of Toxin Tractors being mixed in previously, so they're going to be the ultimate counter here to the Angry Mobs. But, yeah, look at that. Losing pretty much most of that mob. In a single burst. Yeah, and the, the mobs are a lot more expensive than what the Toxin Tractors are. We'll kill another one of those... No, we won't even kill that quad. So, yeah, Angry Mobs, they're good, but by themselves, they, they can be um, a little bit vulnerable there. Battle Bus will maybe get sniped here by the Jarman. He will... There's a Jarman there of Dackle, so... No. Oh, no counter snipe. I think he was going for it, though. Yeah, he must have been wanting to... But now the quad pop will meet the battle bus. Can he back away from this one? Yes, Dackle can indeed. So there's still two supplies mining from Excal. Dackle has a black market though. I don't think there's a black market from Excal. Oh, I haven't seen one around the map just yet. So oh, I know one. there's one at the top there. So both players going through a little bit of like M economy. The supplies, of course, will run out at some point. And man, Dackle's being brave with these, these demo traps. <laughs> there's no there at the moment, but you just don't know. 
And it's scary. Yeah, I really just would like to see him mix in a radar band. Like, they yeah. are pretty cheap. There's like 500. Jarman from x will will climb a victim here. He has a lot of quads. With this DPS scramble, the Jarman couldn't get within range. I think the quads of x blocked off his own Jarman yeah, from dude. landing the snipe on the battle bus of Ek Dackle. Yeah, yeah, it scared Dackle off. He popped the quads a little bit too early. If we yeah. saw the snipe into quads, that meant the RPGs probably wouldn't even be able to recap in time. Because that would be the battle bus with the Jarman of Dackle. And if yeah, he lost it that, it'd pretty much be game over. But actually, Dackle having a lot more a black mark is than I had yeah, realized. They're actually in the middle uh, from the things as well as the fact he doesn't now have a radar van. That's in the center. We'll see if he goes for the radar scan ability. That can be really nice for dealing with Jarman. Oh, speaking of Jarman here, he will claim that battle bus for now. The Jarman revealed himself and didn't get taken out with the Jarman. Got taken out by the quads. Whoopsie daisies there. All of a sudden, that goes most of the army of Dackle. He only has a handful of quads and not really a lot of income. Yeah, look. Oh, did that remove the GP Scramble? No, the GP Scramble is back up now for those quads. So, yeah, that, that was a very, very big blow. Very unfortunate for Dackle. Losing the Battle Bus, losing the Jarman, losing all those RPGs as well. Given just how few supplies there are on the map and how little, you know, Dackle's mining, even with those black markets. Where's well, the middle supplies? I'm actually surprised yeah, they have exhaust this one, probably because they're mining from so far away, they're a lot slower. I don't think only four workers, so... Yeah, I don't think we have the shoes upgrade either. Um, no, no, I don't think so. We'll I can't, to... can't... Can you click on work? I think so. they're, they're stealth. Oh, they're stealth, so you can't. Yeah, that, that would make yeah, here sense. Yeah, so. So you know, I can't select. Yeah, I think you can't select stealth units at all. There you go. I can't select stealth units. It's probably a bug with the replay the system. Yeah, the more you know, and uh, some battle buggies coming out now from uh, from Xcal. Better the quads from the left hand side. We'll try and snipe one down, but we'll lose both of them. I'm not sure why Dackle is going for the gauges, but now the jump has his snipe not available. And there's buggies being mixed in from x so they can deal with the battle buses if they get a nice volley off. Yeah, the rocket buggies are very, very nice at dealing with those battle buses from long range, especially if there's, say, say, three of them, I think it takes, you know, to get the if you get the full barrage off to try and destroy it. And x can you, can you cap them? You could probably. I think he could, I bet he's not anymore. Well, surprise, yeah, it does, does get hit down to the shell now. A lot of workers out as well from, from Xcal going to do a bit of scouting work. That big, that big pile of workers in the middle there. Yeah, and I'm doing some scouting work looking for those black markets. And actually, we'll get them revealed. Turn your phone off, you crazy fool! Oh, wait, ah! oh, geez. That's alright, I, I got a call earlier as well. Everyone's trying to call us while we're casting this game. Do they not realise this is the most wub zero hour replay of all time? I don't think they do. I mean, I, I posted a Facebook status about it. <laughs> I, just, I don't think they were listening on this machine. So, Black Market's getting sniped down now. Fantastic work, Hexcal. Yeah, I think he may have revealed that with a radar van yeah. scan. And this is sort of the stage where you do see GLA's transition into a lot of, um, of radar vans. Yeah. You have the mass scan, because it's really important for landing like the sneak attack and the anthrax bomb, you want to make sure you land it where it should be. And Xcal's Jarman is being very active. He's always sort of sticking nearby, waiting to deny the battle bus. We may see a counter snipe here from the Jarman of Xcal if he's actually ready, waiting for it. No, the Jarman. Oh, there we oh, go. Nice. Oh, gets it. Fantastic work. Jackal's Jarman was ready and waiting despite facing the wrong direction. Reacting in time, you gotta be very fast with it. You don't have a lot of time to actually get that counter. Yeah, before they get unstealthy, it's it's a very very small window of time. Gonna be really a, a right on with the micro. And that's a lot of buggies, as well as the GPS scrambler now going down from Xcal. Yeah, so I think for now, Dackle is not looking too good. He just doesn't have as much income, as much units. He doesn't really have, I think, even as many black markets. There's what? There's three black markets, and oh. I think there's about the same for. Oh, a little bit more. One, There's two, three. Yeah, four. so it's four. So, um... I, I guess the advantage look. that Dackel has is that he has, like, sort of a, a central foothold where Xcar's kind of split up all over the place. So he won't be able to defend his base as easily. Two battle buses are full as well, and hopefully Xcar is the superior GLA player capping, like, rather garrisoning his palace with RPGs. Yeah, that's what you want to see. I mean, the battle bus just got chunked down straight away. Good job from Xcal. Going to be force firing those garrisons, trying to open up, you know, paths into Dackle's base. Yeah, the thing that sucks about GLA stealth moves is you don't get scud launches, so it kind of limits the sieging power that you would normally have. Definitely. And um, Macy... Oh, you know, the scan's very nice there. Yeah, because it had the buggies just driven, they would have taken out by that one. So definitely having those radar bands in the back lines, doing that scan... It's just very, very crucial there. We would like to see some of these tunnels being whittled away. And I think 
there's the critical mass of buggies that Dackle really has to react to. He's just going to lose a lot of his base, but there's two battle buses. If they catch out those bus buggies out of position with a GPS scrambler, that could really be a huge deal for Excal. Yeah, it could be absolutely massive, but I mean, it's going to be very hard for both players, yeah, as you were saying, to push into each other's base, especially with this many tunnel networks actually out. The, I mean, the battle buses are, are going to be fantastic when they start nuking down those tunnels, but they're not going to be very good against the palace, so we'll have to see... You know, who can get the, you know, the critical mass of kind of units to, to start forcing down each other's base. Now the buggy is firing off of the tunnels. The battle buses actually will emerge and go for the engage here. Jarman, though, on the ground from x -Carl will not snipe down one of them. He will just w walk away. Okay. Yeah, he, he didn't snipe anything. Yeah, Maybe it's kind it was on of cooldown. surprising. I think it must have oh, been. Oh, yeah, the quad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. probably went for the quad at some point. So the GP Scrambler has now gone down onto those battle buses. The driver within range of the, the tunnel networks have, they will get revealed. But no, going to be backing off for now. Another radar scan coming out as well. I mean, yeah, Dackle's been right on the ball with these radar scans, scouting out those tunnel networks and destroying them. Yeah, it actually reveals the Jarman for now. The Jarman is in a battle bus from Dackle, so if Jarman is revealed by a radar van, then he can just get taken out um, before he gets the snipe off in time. And one thing that confuses me is when units are moved from a tunnel, are they stealth instantly? But never mind that, because the battle buses will get caught hardcore here. One of them was bursted down by the buggy, the other one was snopped by the Jarman, but actually he may be able to rig through the other one if the buggies just don't focus it down. No, but it looks like the buggies will be focusing it down, it does get taken out. I think it's a little bit of a delay before the stealth actually goes down on his machine. It takes a little bit of time yeah. um, before the GPS scrambler, even if the GPS scrambler's on them, they go into the tunnel, they come out, it takes a little while for them to actually re-stealth. I'm looking at it before I actually have it in this game. So. Yeah, so if x does troll <laughs> denies the recap. So if Excal does pop out his Jarman, like near the battle buses, they can get sniped beforehand. Yeah. The buggies now will you're right, yeah, they don't stealth at least not that doesn't look like at least not straight away. Will not be able to catch down a battle bus. The rockets couldn't quite follow it in time. So the game is slowing down for now. I'm surprised we haven't actually seen any scud storms yet. Yeah, it's a little bit surprising. I mean both players I guess they their bases just aren't really solidified enough yet. Uh a little bit surprised, yeah, because Scud, Scud Storms could be absolutely awesome at forcing down a base, and one Ooh. may actually get sniped by the buggies, that's really, really nice. All you have to do is get it down to the shell, and then you just can't move. I'd love to see something to try and clean up the RPGs, though. I'd love to see a Jarman move in. Yeah, just like one Scud Storm from X-Car would be fantastic, because then you can take out, like, that. That, yeah. <laughs> one Scud Storm would be amazing. You don't want to overcommit Scud Storm. Yeah. Does he have any radar vans? Have we seen scans from x -Cal? We've definitely seen them from Dackle, but um, I'm not sure if we've seen them from x -Cal yet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have. There's one there. Oh, no, you must have done, yeah. Buggies, though, will go for the burst there onto the battle bus. Dackle's Jarman will, I think, actually get taken out. Oh, we didn't actually snipe down a bus there, a battle buggy. And so we'll lose the supply, but it's pretty much empty. Not a huge deal, and I'm surprised the Jarman from x hasn't joined the fray here. So losing a supply, not a huge deal. I think losing the two battle buses actually was not really worth it, because the battle bus count needs to be high, otherwise s can just sort of defend and keep pushing back the, the uh, tunnels. Yeah, it's all going to depend on these black markets at this point, who can get, you know, more units out, and uh, a few tunnel networks getting revealed there as well. Um, and that bomb from the looks of things coming in, that's a, that's a Dackle Antarx bomb. And a sneak attack as well, but interesting move. Oh, what? I think he baited the tunnel pop with the sneak attack, and will take out a handful oh, of buggies. Oh, almost got three of them. He got he got two. That's really cool. And it wasn't actually using the sneak attack. He was just baiting it out. That was so well timed. I've never seen that play before. Because, no, yeah, if, that's if, if, cool. If Excal popped like eight quads and a Jarman and a bus, he could have just lost it all to the Anthrax yeah. bomb. So definitely very well played there by, by Dackle. Unfortunately, it wasn't as effective as it could have been, but it was a nice idea that I really yeah, liked to see. Yeah, got two, got two buggies at least, which isn't bad. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a good start. Yeah, but the battle bus, gotta be careful of these garrisons. The RPGs they're nice if they can actually, like, not get sniped by the Jarman. And we do see the Scrap Repair onto Dackle here, probably the same for x as well, giving him that Global Repair. Always very, very nice. Um, yeah, look, what is x got? Are they still four tunnel networks down the bottom there? Just uh, having <laughs> a look there. So yeah, four tunnel networks still available for him, which is going to be nice. I mean, it opens up another way into Dackle's base and come from different different areas. There's not a lot of supplies left, to be honest, on his machine. It's all going to come down to these black markets. Going for a radar scan, not really sure what he's trying to find. I think he's just trying to get an idea of how many black markets there are, because it kind of, it, it dictates how aggressive you need to be. If, if you see like a whole bunch of them, you sort of have to be aggressive. Yeah. Whereas if you see like not many of them, then you want to maybe get your own and then sort of focus on defending. 
And so we do see another demo trap here from oh, Xcar. please. It's been too long, but I think it actually was revealed by a radar van. So that's going to be very fortunate for Dackle. It must be a good feeling for Dackle. To knowing, reveal it. Yeah. yeah, knowing that he didn't lose a battle bus to, <laughs> to a demo trap. Yeah, it, it can be nice. Dackle going to be moving into workers there for a bit of a scout. And, and look, more angry mobs. I mean, it might force a... Forced a Toxin Tractor out from Excal. I'm not sure if he lost the last one. I haven't seen it for a while, so... I guess that's the thing with Angry Mobs, is that it sort of is the counter to battle buses and buggies in, in the sense that if you overcommit to buggies and RPG battle buses, then you don't really have you any have way, way of dealing deal with, with it. it. Yeah. Like, unless you have enough quads. So it's, it's sort of a, a bit of a counter system there. Jarman, though, and the buggies will catch out these battle buses pretty hardcore. We'll lose the Jarman, though, to the Jarman in the battle bus. And actually, we'll kill, I think, the battle buggies, and now we'll... Have them focus off for now. Jarman will kill more and more of these workers. Not a huge deal, but he's giving him money on the cash bounty every time he snipes down a worker, clearing through a lot of these tunnels. This is going to be a really, really nice push actually coming out. Going to be moving the RPGs into the tunnel though, not the best move, and a sneak attack as well to block off the quad from the from the from the angry mob trying to move in the battle bus. Not sure if Dackel has any more units to pop from there. We'll retreat the battle bus at least. That's not a good move. Nope, he will uh, get Just it back in. Heal. Yeah. yeah, for the heal there indeed. He may try and go for the command center or the, the black mark. I'm not really sure what his plan of attack will be. Maybe he wants to just sort of deny the buggies, but Dakla has a fair bit of money right now. The buggies are firing their volley onto the bus. He actually loses it now. Yeah, he didn't get out of range, and more RPGs are going to be popping out now. Should be able to take down the command center, I think, and that will be really important. Jarman has been revealed. Yeah, it's just the, uh, the Jarman from XCOM may take him out in time, though. The buggies were quite close, and I'm surprised the Jarman hasn't gone for it just yet. Dackel may snipe it back himself. Nope, gets back into the battle bus there. Escar losing his opportunity to snipe down the Jarman of Escar. Yeah, I'd love to see Dackel just keep pushing in here. Just needs to take out as many black markets as possible. That's what's going to matter. The Jarman has been Ooh. revealed as well and gets counter snipe by Dackel. Fantastic work. Yeah, I'm not sure where these radar vans are, but they're definitely very crucial in the back lines for that scan. And losing the command center as well to the angry mobs is going to prevent him from launching his own sneak attacks or anthrax bombs. I'm not sure why Dackel is actually going for the for the black market. I mean, they're just, they're just chilling there. One of them is stealth, at least. Man, so, look how yeah. good angry mobs are. Oh, wow. They just melted them. That was ridiculous. Yeah, I don't think it's even a full unit. Nice positioning there from Dackel behind the black market. Forces x to flank around the side, which would open it up to a push here. It will take down the battle bus, but we'll lose probably all of them to the counterattack. Nice position. Definitely loses two and still has the, the battle bus off to the side, but we'll eventually get sniped down. No, doesn't get sniped by that last volley, meaning he can probably go for the black market, black market, black market, black market. Please, 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 the tunnel. Black market, take out the black market, tackle please. You've got one more <laughs> vet three. RPG trooper being absolutely heroic there. Yeah, they were like three of them all vetted up. So they have pretty scary rate of fire in their red rockets of doom. It's sort of like the Blitzerina of Death, but a bit more deadly, isn't it? It is indeed. Another battle bus as well moving in from Dackle. He's really committing to this and sniping down these... Uh, buggy's just so well. He almost lose, lost that buggy, but not quite. So I have to say, Dackle doing pretty fantastically. He's pushing in well. Yeah, but I think this is now put Dackle in the lead by a pretty significant oh, yeah, edge. Gotta be. There's just too many black markets and the map control. As we do actually see, like, there's not really a lot of space left. Like, space becomes an issue this late game with that many buildings on the field. And Dackle, I think, is going to have a lot better time now with the, the income that he has. Yeah, another sneak attack coming out now. It's a it's a Dackle sneak attack. I mean, we haven't really seen a lot of a lot of support powers from Excal yet, have we? Well, he's just rebuilt his command center now. Yeah. So he could go for an anthrax bomb if he so chooses. The battle bus from Dackle is just denying more and more of these tunnels here, and Excal only really seems to have one buggy. Does he not have an arms dealer? Um, look, I, I don't think he does. I mean... He's building a supply because he doesn't have an arms dealer. He needs the supply as a prerequisite to build the arms dealer. So that's why x just can't contest these uh, battle bus. He just has no production. And all these buildings are getting sniped down. I'm not sure how he can come back from this. It's going to be really, really tough. I mean, this... Dackle could just keep pumping out these battle buses because, you know, he has the production. He has the black markets. He's got that income. Yep, and I think we may just see that. There's only... I think about an uh, anthrax bomb, you know, on the, the tunnels. And he's going to deny the arms dealer as well, and any, any more buildings coming out. Yeah, this next is go. definitely looking like game over to me. And with the battle bus, I think that is the last unit of x apart from this this dry handful of RPGs in these uh, garrisons here. So this looks game over to me here. The battle bus still trying to deny more and more of these tunnels. 
And there's a lot of angry mobs may get taken out here by the anthrax bomb. Oh, but... well, that's a very, very nice, fantastic counter to the angry bombs is the anthrax bomb. But, you know, a little bit too little too late. The battle bus now will be moving in. You know, rocket buggies as well off to the side there. Fantastic work, guys. Yep, we'll kill the command center, but not the palace. Rebuilding a barracks. Excal definitely holding on. Even killing these tunnels in the bottom. So definitely cleaning up everything that Excal has. And now Dakla switched up to buggy production. And Scudstorm has now finished. So pretty much everything that Dakla wants, he already has sneak attack there from Excal. But yeah, that is GG. Dakla taking that one. Dakla doing fantastically. That was a really good match. I have to say, it was it was a, it was a fun match. 39 minutes yeah. in GLS Health Mirror. Yeah, if Dakla was ahead. I, I think Dakla just got the, the early black market lead. Yeah. And, um, you know, Excal played it well. I gotta say, those demo traps were probably the best I've ever seen. Yeah, they were fairly nuts, hey. They were just so well positioned, just right where the battle bus would actually drive in. Because, as I was saying, like, you, you can't deal with palace tech without your own palace tech unless you have demo, demo traps. traps. Yep. <laughs> the Perfect exception counter. to the rule. So, look, well played. I can see why that uh, replay was so successful, yeah. so popular. Some pretty good plays there. Definitely, but I think that'll wrap this one up unless you have anything else to say. No, nothing else to say. Fantastic game from both players. Mm. Well done, Dackles. Well done, well done. Catch you later.